Hey everyone, today I want to show you what to do if your boat starts to leak. I've been having some problems with my boat as we've been out fishing. As I'm moving along, I'm starting to gather water in the back right hand corner. And so it's time to do an inspection. Uh, I'm going to show you that today. We're going to show you what you need to do, what you don't need to do uh, to get you back on the water so that things are safe for you. One of the things we're doing right now is we're filling the boat, the bottom of the boat up with water. And um, we'll kind of show you what to do from here. So the first thing that I have done here is I have begun to fill up my boat, uh, fill it up with water in the bottom. You want to get your boat as full of water as possible. I've been having leaks down here in the corner where the carpet is, and so I've decided to do a visual inspection underneath. You will notice that uh, upon visual inspection of my boat underneath, and I take this boat camping a lot, those of you that take it on camping trips or wherever the case may be, and you end up um, in some rocks sometimes this can happen but even just after visual inspection you will see some holes that have developed right under here that's not focusing in really well but look for holes like this this boat here is about 17 18 years old and sometimes you will have just corrosion that takes place the other thing to look for is your rivets and underneath the boat as you do a visual inspection begin to look at those rivets and see if they are leaking any water. If they are, what I recommend you do is just go ahead and circle those with a Sharpie marker and you can go back and hit those with some, what I like to use is JB Weld. Um, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. We've let the water fill up in the bottom of the boat and you will see a little puddle has developed here underneath the boat. And as I get a little bit closer in, you can see some water dripping there. So that's a hole that I will mark and that I will fill in with some JB Weld here in just a little bit. So look for things like this in your boat, especially if you're around rocks and my boat, I use it a lot. Look for things like that. You can also see here, if you just visually look at the side of your boat, you'll see I have a few holes here. I'm gonna mark those and we'll fill those as well. So you'll see another spot here, that's a significant leak. Uh, if you have leaks like that, definitely things that you need to take care of. You will notice here that I have actually marked that spot, that was a visual spot. Um, and then again, over here to the front of the boat, you will see that I have found some spots here that I have marked with a Sharpie as well. Um, again, not focusing in really well, but Find those spots and circle them. The next step is to spray off your boat. You'll see that I just end up using uh, scrub free. Doesn't matter what you use, it's a bathroom cleaner. You want to get these spots clean. Next step is to take some sandpaper and real gently just sandpaper your marks on your boat. Each little spot, you want to rough it up. We're going to put JB Weld on here. I'll show you that in just a second. But you want to scuff that up just a little bit so that the uh, JB Weld will hold. Step in the process is to add, I like to use JB Weld, Marine Weld. They do make a putty that you can actually buy that you can mix. Um, the putty comes and you can mix it together, but I prefer this. And the only reason why I do is because if you'll look here, the PSI strength is at 3,960. Uh, if you get the other product that JB Weld makes, uh, the PSI is not as high. So recommending this for use, um, just gonna last a little bit longer on your aluminum boat. You take each of the two tubes that they give you and equal parts, 50-50. Mix the two together. Take your putty that you just mixed together and simply fill in your holes. And when you're done, you should have little gray spots, the black and the white tubes mix up. Go ahead and sand those when you're done and you're ready to go. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks and be sure to subscribe.